camouflage this guy is wearing camouflage what might be the reason well the reason is guys this this dream lens this piece of a dream lens guys i have been wondering about this lens the moment it was launched and trust me guys each and every day i used to think about it it got launched around july of 2019 and i purchased it almost within an year of its launched and before that i was using so far this 70 to 200 f4 the g lens from sony for all the bird photography and everything and guys that is why i will make a video about it that it's a good zoom range to start which will make us to learn that you have to move your feet rather than just rely on zooming to get great quality photographs but keeping this thing aside let's talk today about the star of the show this 200 to 600 f5.6 to f6.3 the g super zoom lens from sony the one and only lens in the sony lineup which offers this range of zoom yeah there is 600 f4 or 400 f2.8 but these are like what should i say <laughs> you have to sell your house to purchase those lenses they cost like 10 11 lakhs in india and if i compare the prices from us again it's around 12 13000 minimum so now this lens costs 1.5 lakhs in india and that is not the only cost you will be bearing you will have to purchase some uh, skin to cover this whole lens not just to camouflage it from birds and animals but basically to prevent it from scratches and bumps and you guess it right a uv filter to protect that big 95 mm front element let's talk about this lens so as this was my dream every day every night i used to see the pictures coming out of it and i never got disheartened i always used to go out and play with this lens let me show you the size the difference obviously this has the lens hood currently attached and this doesn't but let me show you the size you can see how big of a difference is and the same difference is in the weight too but trust me guys once you have held this lens you will feel how marvelous sony has turned the work on this lens it's not that heavy it's not that big it doesn't extends and that was the pretty big excitement for me of buying this lens because you get something which is not that difficult to balance when you use gimbal heads and it doesn't extends so one thing which you lose is that the size is big to start with let me remove the lens hood and then show you the size So yeah, this is the size of the lens, and it is pretty big to start with. I took a lot of photographs. I will show you an example, and it came in a pretty big box, which I was so excited to unbox that I didn't even bother about setting up whole studio thingy. I just took my mobile, shot the uh, unboxing thing, and the result here it is. So guys, today is a very special day. Let me show you why. Sony 200 to 600 mm. lens and i really wanted this from quite long time and i'm really excited to open it i didn't make a video because i wanted to make myself comfortable with this lens so now it's almost a month of using this lens and i'm comfortable with this the first time you use a 600 mm zoom on an aps-c that one an aps-c which makes it effectively 900 mm You remember, guys, 900 zoom, and I was using this 200, which effectively was 300. Jumping from 300 to 900, that straw view of the world, which we call the field of view, becomes so narrow that it is so difficult to track any moving bird, especially moving bird. The birds which are sitting idle, they are a bit easier. So I was having that shock, and it took me two, three days to get comfortable with this lens. And after I was comfortable, the pictures coming out of them were pretty amazing. So now let's talk about some of the features. So this lens features three focus hold buttons, which you can use based upon which position you are using this lens for. Then this lens collar, it moves. Basically, there is this knob. You unscrew it, and you can move it. But yeah, the lens collar doesn't come out. So that is something you have to keep in mind. Now the zoom ring is in the front, which is different than. focus ring being on the front but this is okay because it's a big lens and if you are about to balance it you will hold something like this and your hands will be on the zoom ring and the back will be and in the front there is a big g logo and 
the rings are pretty smooth zoom ring is a bit more tight because it has to move the element inside focus ring is really smooth then it comes with four buttons those custom buttons the first one is auto focus or manual focus like most of the lenses then the second button is which will limit your zoom range because if you are having trouble for example there are a lot of bushes or trees or some objects in the middle you can limit based upon do you need that close focus or the focus to infinity or between 10 to 24 so these are the three modes full full zoom range then 10 to 22.4 meters and then infinity to 10 meters then the third button is optical steady shot on or off and the fourth button is the mode basically you are using the tripod mode or panning mode or the random mode that is why there are three modes and usually the people keep it in the first mode and then call it a day very standard quarter one by four and the other one three by four so there's one bigger the smaller one most of the tripod mounts come with a smaller mount and you can use the bigger one to get that more sturdy uh, what should i say stability and then this part comes out you have to unscrew this part and press there's a spring mechanism press that button slide it up and it comes out and you can replace with other like Wimberley and other options so lens foot is removable and you can swap it I will not I don't want to waste a lot of money without any reason then the final feature is if you want because this is a heavy lens so there are two of these strap holders if you want to place your strap you can use this strap holders to mount this lens because you will not be using uh, your camera straps now the filter thread it accepts is 95 mm and i have already purchased a uv filter it's from the brand siri 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 yeah that is the brand i use the monopod which is kept next to me also from the same brand and it's pretty thin it has 22 layers i will talk about it in a separate video about what things items you should buy immediately after purchasing this lens so that was it guys i was pretty excited about this lens the moment i purchased it almost every day i used to go out or in the terrace it's locked down we cannot go too far from our homes but every opportunity i get i used to go and shoot the birds now i have not touched this little beast for quite some time now it's been a month i'm completely happy with the results which i get i'm using APS-C to get more reach plus it's a better thing for at least bird in flight or the bird photography for animals even full frame is a good reach is a great reach i should say what else do i want from 600 mm more than 600 mm you can obviously use tele converters with that it is compatible with 1.5 or 2 1.4x and 2x tele converter from sony they are expensive instead of that i will just use my aps-c for now
so that's it guys thank you for watching if you have any questions please let me know this was a quick review and my experience owning this lens for almost a month now i will post a lot more videos soon with that and bird photography with 200 mm coming soon so please subscribe thanks for watching if you have any questions list them now in the comment section see you again see you soon guys bye